It is uh, Sunday, the 10th of September, 2017. I'm in front of the Unitarian Church of Montreal. I've got a couple of uh, taxis unloading a uh, couple of people here. And I'm uh, basically just starting up my alternative spiritual practice of protesting against Unitarian Universalist injustices, abuses, and hypocrisy, which include, uh, but are by no means uh, limited to uh, misusing Canada's blasphemy law in clergy sex abuse cover-up and denial legal bullying, which seeks to conceal uh, such despicable crimes as pedophilia and rape committed by certain Unitarian Universalist ministers. And uh, there goes a uh, member of the Unitarian Church of Montreal. And uh, she has certainly tried to shut down my protest in the past, and uh, she is one of the many Montreal Unitarians who are totally complicit in uh, Unitarian Universalist uh, cover-up and denial of uh, all forms of clergy abuse, but uh, clergy sexual abuse of children in particular. And uh, it's very unfortunate that neither she nor uh, very many other or indeed any other members of the Unitarian Church of Montreal uh, live up to the uh, mission statement here. Well, it's totally vague anyway, just really quite meaningless because it can be interpreted uh, actually in a very negative manner. Uh, you know, our spiritual community welcomes, nurtures, inspires, challenges. Together we take action in the world. Well, that sounds all very nice and fluffy bunny. Uh, the problem is, is it doesn't say what the spiritual community, known as the Unitarian Church of Montreal, welcomes. It doesn't say what the Unitarian Church of Montreal nurtures. It doesn't say what the Unitarian Church of Montreal inspires. It doesn't say what the Unitarian Church of Montreal's members challenge, or the Unitarian Church of Montreal as an institution challenges. And it doesn't say what kind of actions in the world Montreal Unitarians take together. Um, the fact of the matter is, is all of these things can be seen in quite a negative light. For instance, the Unitarian Church of Montreal certainly welcomed the uh, anti-religious intolerance and bigotry of Reverend Ray Drennan and Frank Green and Val Bourdon and other bigoted anti-religious uh, Montreal Unitarians. It even, I'd say, nurtured their anti-religious intolerance and uh, bigotry. It certainly didn't challenge them. Um, and, you know, to some extent, it might have even inspired their anti-religious intolerance and bigotry certainly inspired my protest against anti-religious intolerance and bigotry and other Unitarian Universalist injustices, abuses, and hypocrisy. Um, and yeah, the actions, you know, that Montreal Unitarians take in the world to say nothing of the actions that other Unitarian Universalists take in the world can often be immoral and unethical and even borderline criminal at times. Um, even criminal at times. I've been uh, physically assaulted by Montreal Unitarians. I've had my picket signs stolen by Montreal Unitarians. I've had false accusations brought against me by not just Montreal Unitarians, but also um, Unitarian Universalist uh, Association leaders, such as Reverend Dr. Peter Morales and others. So we're basically a certain amount of outright criminal behavior on the part of not just Montreal Unitarians, but uh, Unitarian Universalists uh, south of the border at the Unitarian... Good day. I guess you were part of this church at one time? At one time, yes. Uh, you've been doing this for how many years now? Uh, it's coming up for 20. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, they, they just don't seem to want to uh, settle their issues, so it's... Did you go to court? Uh, once or twice, yes, but only because they brought bullshit criminal charges against me that I had to defend myself against. So. Okay. Well, yeah, but not doing this, something else, another issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, no, 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 they they, uh, they tried to shut down my protest by bringing criminal charges against me in the past. Yeah. Well, what criminal charges? Doing what? Well, there's a law in the Canadian Criminal Code that yeah. prohibits disrupting the order and solemnity of church services, 
And so they tried to use that law, which is obviously about, you know, disrupting inside the church. Yeah, but you didn't go in there and do No, that. no, that's, that, but that's the whole point, is they tried to use a law that prevents, you know, disrupting okay. the actual service against okay. my protest outside the church. Oh, yeah, this is public property. Exactly, yeah. So, okay. so I have every right to do what I'm doing. Uh, okay. And I defended myself successfully. Uh, I was acquitted. Uh, okay. But, you know, it didn't... You know, they're, they're, they're actually, not the church locally, but the head office in Boston, you know, their Vatican, yeah. it actually is now accusing me of violating Canada's blasphemy law. <laughs> ah. So they're saying I'm blaspheming against yeah, the yeah. church. So. Which church? Is Unitarian you, Church of Montreal, are yeah. Are you targeting specifically Unitarian? Well, this protest is specifically about but the... Is, okay. Yeah, specifically about the church locally, but also the bigger religious community of Unitarian Universalists. Okay. Um, so, yes, it's mainly about their problems, yeah. And not that other churches don't have similar problems, but... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but were you abused yourself? Not sexually, okay. uh, but verbally, psychologically, yeah. you know, that kind of stuff, yeah, for sure. You know, so, yeah, I mean, bringing yeah. false criminal charges against someone is a form of abuse, you know. It's, it's, yeah, uh, yeah. Did you, you have know. a lawyer or anything like that to help I, you out? Not so far. I, don't, I, I, I didn't really need one. It's Too such, costly, yeah, yeah. Well, it's not just that. It, it's, it's such total bullshit that it's easy to defend myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. If the police come now, what, what, well, what, what, what do they usually tell you? They, what, well, they, what, in the past, in the past, they've told me I have to go and this and that. Okay. In the past, the police have been quite, you know, hard nosed. Okay. Uh, but I've always stood up to them, okay. and I've always challenged, you know, their claims I have to go and this and that. And I think they got tired of embarrassing videos on YouTube, so <laughs> okay. Okay. You <laughs> they don't them, bother me much anymore. You, they, uh, okay, but what, what, when they come, they would say, well, "What are you they doing would say, wrong?" No, they would just tell me I had to leave. Okay, but yeah, you know? but, but well, that's the whole point. Is I you asked what, why exactly, yeah, and they didn't have an answer. Well, they came up with bullshit. You know, they said uh, you can't protest in a bus stop zone. This used to be a bus stop zone. Oh, they said you can't. You know, just crazy stuff. You know, okay. they yeah. said yeah. I couldn't you have tickets. Block, you can't yeah. block the entrance, yeah. which you're not doing. Yeah, I'm not blocking anything. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. said I can't have chalk slogans. They even gave me a ticket for chalk slogans. Yeah, but, I was going to uh, say what, no, no, it's, it's called graffiti. That's that what well, you're they, doing? They, yeah, they say it's dirtying the sidewalk, but it's okay. it's within your constitutional rights as, as part of a so protest. How you know, how much was a ticket for that? A hundred something. I never paid it. Did they come after you? Oh, well, they came after me. They, they uh, suspended my driver's license. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm serious. That's what they do now. <laughs> I was ready to go to jail for a day or two, you know. To, yeah, yeah. But uh, now they just suspend your driver's license. So uh, You live in NDG? I do now, yeah. I used to live in the downtown area and uh, before that in Verdun. Has anybody but, uh, ever come out and, and talk to you because, because the church is supposed to be sometimes. peaceful and no, no, nice? No, 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 no. I've actually, I got, uh, well, I've been verbal. physically assaulted. I've oh. been physically assaulted by some members. Uh, okay, hold uh, on. Okay, yeah. members. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the, not the organizer or not the people that are in Well, actually, one of them was the, one of the more serious assaults was the religious education guy, <laughs> Sunday up. school teacher. He yeah. Came up. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he, he was actually outside already, and he was erasing my slogans, and I verbally challenged him about that. I didn't, I just said he was being silly kind of thing, yeah. and he came after me. <laughs> so why, why don't you press charges for that? I should have, actually. Um, yeah, but, but you need uh, proof. Oh, I had, it was all on video. <laughs> Who video takes this? Do I you? do. <laughs> all with that? Yeah, okay. yeah. Unitarian, Universalist. Yeah. So, yeah, when something like that's happening, you can be sure the camera's running, you know. It's <laughs> So uh, you come every Sunday? Well, not, not every, every Sunday. Not every no, Sunday but, uh, come more often. Yeah. Sure. Um, but well, what's I mean, your What's your goal? Well, my goal is so is that is they it? admit their problems and fix them. <laughs> they got lots of problems that they okay. have to first of all admit, and then they have to fix them. You okay, know, so it's not a per your goal is not a personal vendetta. Not really. No, it's, 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 it's just, you know, I mean, there are certain do... individuals who have done stupid stuff that it is at a level personal. So it's but like, it's it's about it's, it's about it's like just expose them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 So scientific uh, science, Scientology has some similar issues too. Every religious community has similar issues right. in terms of clergy abuse, whether it's yeah. verbal and psychological or sexual. Well, they're um, more than and yeah. persecuted, of yeah. course, yeah. justifiable. Yeah. 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 But in any case, uh, so your goal is what to to. But well, this, to, to expose this, it, obviously, but, but also to get them should. to do something about it. Not, yeah, but not just locally. Like the whole, the whole thing with blasphemy, that comes from the, the Boston. Their, their, their main office is in Boston, and it was the leaders in Boston that accused me of blasphemy. Uh, but this church is complicit in it. Yeah, yeah. If they know about it and they don't speak out there, but they're... But blasphemy is not a criminal offense. It is, yes. I didn't know yeah, that. Or, is it? Well, it, it, it was in the Canadian criminal code. Oh, yeah? Uh, so if you talk about, about a certain religion... They, they, you, you can be press charges? Yes. It, it has to be quite serious. It has to be like... Like freedom of speech. So if I say yeah. a religion sucks or they're no fucking good, that's criminal offense? Well, blasphemous libel has to be pretty... You know, like, it has to be 
vulgar and yeah, like and, and, you know, almost and, and, hate speech kind of thing, you know, okay, like okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, okay, like, okay. So, so they tried to accuse me. Of, and stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, basically, blasphemy well, is, is attacking what a, a religion holds to be sacred and holy. Yeah. That's what it is, you know. Really, yeah, it's right. also attacking God. You know, if you want to attack God, <laughs> right, right. but but but, but it's been broadened a... out to. Uh, well, well, if you're, yeah. Uh, yeah, do you believe in God? Yes. To go there, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, actually, one of one of my problems is that what you may not know about this church is that many of the members and yeah. even the ministers are atheists. And, yeah. and they're not all nice atheists. Like some of them, if you it. believe in God, okay. then you're mentally ill, yeah, you're yeah. stupid. Yeah, yeah. And I can see that. Yeah, yeah, well, that's just bullshit. That's just like, really yeah, they say you live in harmony. Well, they're not living in harmony with me, are they? So what are they preaching <laughs> in here? So, so what are they doing here? Well, I don't go in and check it out. <laughs> well, well, it's a church, right? Yeah, they, they, they claim... Well, they believe in Jesus Christ? No, they don't. No, 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 no. The, no. Very few. In fact, so, when... So this is not part of the, 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 the Christian community? It used to be, but it, it more it's, it's a heretical sect of Christianity. But these days, it's... What's that mean, Radical. Uh, basically against the doctrine of the church. Like, they deny the Trinity. That's why they're called Unitarians, because they do not believe in the Trinity. Oh, um, okay, okay. So they were they were treated... So it's not even Protestants, even... It's, it's ultra-Protestant. Like, it's oh, sort of like... Okay. Uh, okay. So you, oh, they don't believe in Jesus Christ? It's, it's, well, no, they... It's, it depends, because it's such a mess now. It, 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 they used to believe in Jesus as a Messiah, let's say. Okay, um, I'm going to punch it up and then... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they used to believe uh, that Jesus was, you know, at least a prophet, yeah, okay, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, that's... But, but like I said, now, uh, many are atheists. They don't believe in even God, let alone Jesus, okay, you know. Uh, so, 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 but it's not a church then. How well, they call it a church. So, I mean, so well, what do you preach if you don't believe in God? What do well, you like preach? Is it is? just life, like scientific? Yeah, so, so justice like, issues and, you know. So it's like Scientology, right? Well, I don't know. I, I don't follow Scientology. Like, Scientology has specific beliefs about aliens and this and that, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, we came from but, a... Uh, yeah. well, we came no, it's, from it's, a, it's basically, our, our race, they yeah. teach moral and ethical teachings, but then they don't follow them. <laughs> I got you. So you're telling me that some members come here and they, they, they tell you to go fuck yourself and all that? They, well, I've, they, had they some, I've had language? some, I've had some, I've had a certain amount of that too, yeah. It's, okay. it's, uh, well, the guy who assaulted me, uh, before he assaulted me, he came up to me and he goes, uh, he called me uh, a delusional little prick. <laughs> so I asked him, I said, oh, tell me how I'm a delusional little prick, you know, like fill me yeah. in on the details, you know. <laughs> okay. 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 So, so anyway, uh, we'll see who's delusional, yeah, yeah. but everything I'm saying is supported by evidence. So. <laughs> Yeah. So do you have, do you, oh yeah, my last question. Yeah. Do you have any supporters? That's, Online. That's uh, important. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. That come with you. No, no. I, I, I actually, I've had some people. See, that's important. No, no, but hang on. It isn't, it isn't because, no, no, I'll tell you why. A one-man protest, yeah. you have more control over it. If I had like two or three other people, I can't control what they're doing. The cops come, uh, could be problems, you know. So I can control myself. Okay. Uh, and I'm, I'm good enough. I don't need okay. other people. Okay. So, okay. so I, I've had people offer to protest with me, yes, and sir. I've said, well, you know, it's better if I just do it alone. Okay. You know. So there are protests uh, online about the. Oh yeah, I have blogs. I have okay. Twitter account. I, it's, it's so like this a, is originated in Boston. The head office. The, the 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 North American. How old uh, is this? Unitarian? Well, this church goes back to 1842. They're no, celebrating. No, not this church, but the Unitarian. The built. Uh, no, no. Oh, the, the whole Unitarian religion. Yeah, roughly, roughly. Well, it can go back to the 1400s, oh. um, even good. earlier. I mean, they, wow. any Christian so who did not believe in the Trinity was you. essentially a Unitarian, you know. Wow. But in terms of the actual church, That's if you bring it to America, yeah. I'd say around the time of the Revolutionary War, maybe even a bit before. Okay. Um, they started in Europe? Or in yes, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Europe, yeah. Course, basically right? started in, uh, well, actually, I think it started in, like, uh, Hungary and, and, and that, and then maybe... Uh, moved to England, and then of course from England came to America. You know, so okay. so uh, yeah. All right, that's man. a whole history there. Thanks for talking. Yeah. Nice talk. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty. So just had a nice little chat there. Hopefully got it recorded. Oh yes, indeed we did. So uh, <laughs> that's somebody showing up here. All right. <clears throat> So I'm glad that was uh, recorded. Guys, uh, free and responsible. Search for the truth and meaning of my protest. So uh, that looks like someone I might know there. Anyhow, we're just going to continue to uh, circulate with the picket signs. We got some chalk slogans down. And uh, okay, here's a woman talking to a guy. She's going to give him the bullshit side of the story. So. Uh, <laughs> 
anyhow, he can uh, get her side of the story. That's fine by me. He'll probably uh, realize it's uh, total bullshit soon enough if he does a proper research into this. <clears throat> I think he pretty well understood uh, where I was coming from, and he can certainly uh, Google Unitarians and blasphemous libel and clergy abuse and so on, so he can get the background information if he wants it. Anyhow, just, uh, as I said, continue to circulate here. Let the cars see the picket signs and the cyclists. So, uh, guys having a good chat with her. That's fine. Well, we got uh, David Roller here. And hanging out here. It'll be interesting to see if the Unitarians have a little procession into the church today. Uh, last year they... Oh really? Yes, you are putting your ads according to your understanding in their property. No, it's not their property. That's their property. No, no, no. Three feet back from the sidewalk no, no, is... Uh, three feet back from the sidewalk belongs to the city. <laughs> that belong to this. It yes, it property. does. Yes, it does. It? <laughs> yes, no. I already checked with the police. Don't worry. Oh, yes, <laughs> but you know what's really illegal? I'll tell you what's really illegal: pedophilia and rape. That's really illegal. Who says that is legal? That, but don't come. Uh, uh, Unitarians say it's sacred and holy, according to them. <laughs> so this woman saying what I'm doing is completely illegal, and of course she's going into the. Uh, Unitarian Church of Montreal, so I think she has a biased uh, opinion. But uh, you know, that's what I like. I like how they say my protest is illegal. And what am I protesting here? Well, I'm protesting uh, against uh, sexual abuse of children and uh, cover up of uh, sexual abuse of children. It's kind of interesting how the uh, rap's covering up that. But, uh, Hello. So, uh, so here we have David Rollert, the uh, husband of the minister. Good day, sir. <laughs> and uh, we'll just continue to circulate.